Hey guys, it's L Super Sonic Q back with another in depth series episode. This one is episode, I think it's 14, and this is going to be my focus of the non um, video game clay figures that I used to sculpt a long, long time ago. Longer than I have my oldest video game ones. So yeah, this is going to be a really, like, relaxing video. Uh, I just, like, I, I was watching the other videos that I had done on my vintage drawings, and I don't know, it just felt like I was stuttering a lot, and I was just, like, really, like, I have to get through this whole binder within, like, ten minutes, or this is going to be incredibly long. But this video, I just really don't care about a time limit. So if you guys like longer videos, this is it. I really didn't bother pulling out any of the clay models, so I don't really have this whole line of clay that I'm going to show off. Uh, I'm just going to pick whatever piques my interest from this huge box that I think you guys have seen before in the other vintage clay video. Um, so we'll take a look at that. Actually, now that I think about it, this video actually does tie in good with um, the whole vintage drawings and stuff I've been doing now. But I kind of just wanted to break up the whole vintage drawing thing because after a while it could it, or it can get tedious looking at drawings. I know that um, me personally, I don't want to post the other two parts of that song thing just because, I don't know, over... I don't know if it's just me because I drew the drawings, but an over-excessive amount of drawings, personally for me, I'm just like, um, you gotta break this up a little bit. Before I actually start the video, just a couple things. One, I'm recording in a really different quality than normal. Um, okay, so you guys know my uploader has been broken for, like, ever, and it's honestly never gonna get fixed because I don't know why my computer can't connect through Google, okay? So... That aside, that's kind of why their videos have been really, like, really not that great in quality. But just for the fun of it, I was looking through some of my older videos, and when I was doing some, like, um, in-depth episode, like, testing before I actually started the main series, like, long ago, uh, I recorded in some kind of weird format, and, like, see how my hand is, like, whoa. I don't know if that's just my camera, or what it is, but, um, it, it's a lot smoother. So, yeah, this is probably... Pretty bad idea because it's probably going to take like three days to upload, but just for the fun of it, I wanted to see if the quality was any different. So we're in a slightly different quality, and coming up I have my 100th video, so I'm planning that out perfectly so that I finish like the vintage things and hopefully get a chalk drawing in there, and then my 100th video will be the start of a new series that I've been working on. Uh, I won't reveal it right now, but it's, uh, it's a different series um, in, in a sense. And maybe I'll do something semi-special for the 99th. Anyway, let's get started on this vintage, non-view game, in-depth video. Alright, so I'll just let the camera roll and I'll pull out some models that look pretty good and that I'll show to you guys. So this first one has been staring me in the face ever since I did that vintage video game one. And if any of you guys remember that um, computer game series, yes, computer game series, like uh, Pajama Sam right here. This is actually a pretty nice model of Pajama Sam. Uh, I'm not really gonna... I mean, this really comes from one game, the Pajama Sam video game series, and there's not really... Or, not video game. Computer game, wow. Um, yeah, so, I guess I'll just talk about the overall appearance and stuff, because I can't really give a history about the artwork or anything, because it came from the game. And back when I did these, I'm nearly 100% sure I did not use any artwork, because it was just so long ago. But, honestly, he doesn't look too bad. I like the face. You can tell this was one that I really um, cared about making look good. Um, I'll get into more on the qual uh, quality control of my clay models as we progress through this episode. But, um, yeah. So that was Pajama Sam. Next is Gumby. Uh, there was a point in time where I sculpted a lot of Gumbies. Gumby was actually the first clay model that I had sculpted all by myself. Um, this one was not my first one. I sculpted a lot of Gumbies, so this is just one of the many. Um, this one looking less on model than some of the other ones, but again, uh, pretty old. So, that's Gumby there. Uh, here's another cool one I'm just looking at right now, and it's Invader Zim from the cartoon series. Eyes are a little big, but and I think he fell over in the oven because he's kind of lopsided, and he lost an antenna. I'm surprised a lot of these are actually as intact as they are, because again, uh, I stress the fact that they're really old, and that even with the video game ones, you guys probably remember me talking about a lot of the time that they were just, a lot of the models were just lost, and I really don't know what happened to some of them, and that the ones I have are really broken, but uh, some of these ones are in still in pretty decent uh, condition. <laughs> this guy's just like right here, so I thought I'd just 
show it. It's a starfish surfing. Really obscure concept. I mean, I'm just looking at some of these, like, I never... I, I'd, like, never have the initiative to sculpt something like this today. Like, a starfish surfing? Like, why? Um, I guess he's pretty cool. Uh, it's some wave effect right there. That reminds me, too, that a lot of the non view game models I'd sculpt, like, this random starfish. I'd say non, um... Non... Like, character influenced in terms of, like, Zam or Gumby or people like that. Like, just the generic type things came from this, uh, it was like a how to sculpt clay book, I guess, and they just gave you different, like, clay, it wasn't like a how to sculpt, but it was, like, they gave you different ideas, I think this starfish pattern came from that, um, minus the surfboard, but they told you how to sculpt, like, robots and aliens and, you know, sea creatures and stuff, so I used that book a lot in my earlier years, like, the really, really early years, um, when I wanted to make my clay look better, and when I wasn't as invested, because back then I really wasn't as invested in a certain genre, like, you know, um, you know, you guys know now that I'm really invested in the video games, but back then it was kind of like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little random, you know, that type of thing. Um, alright, I gotta show some more models here. This one's kind of, kind of interesting. The centipede guy from, whoa, that's some dust there. Some heavy dust. From uh, James and the Giant Peach, I remember like uh, watching the movie, reading the book or whatever. So I thought he was a cool enough character to sculpt. He's got a huge cigar in his mouth. Just by today's standards, I find that kind of kind of funny. Ah, uh, what else is in here? Um. Okay, I'll show this guy. Random ghost guy. Ho ho. Yeah, we all we all, I, I needed to show off some of those really really random ones. There just wouldn't be a good a good in depth video. Um, I don't think I made that one, so I wouldn't show it. Uh, oh, here's a good one. Uh, I actually did quite a few uh, TV show related ones. So here's what's that guy's name? Ricochet from uh, Mucha Lucha. That show used to be on Cartoon Network, and his uh, feet are broken off. So. That's that's him. All these are uh, kind of the same size too. You guys notice that my models I sculpt now, this they're really really like they they only go up really. But these ones are all relatively the same size. So here's a little salamander guy. I tried to I tried to like really perfect my salamander skills. There were a couple a couple models that I really wanted to try and get like spot on straight from the book. That was one of those ones that came from the book. Oh, I was looking for this guy. I'm kind of glad I found him. This was a really good pokey from Gumby. Ah, uh, missing a, missing a, one leg, but I, I kind of like that one a lot. I remember when I made this, it was a like I praised it a lot. Um, that's another thing too, is I still have like I said at the beginning of the video this one box that's full of them, and. I'm fairly certain I had some more, like, a couple more boxes. I don't know if they were this big uh, down in my basement or whatever, but I looked down there recently, and I couldn't find them, so I really don't know where they could be. Uh, I, I th actually thought this Pokey wasn't in this box here, because I remember I had, when I was little, I I had all my clay in, like, a bunch of different boxes. I really didn't display it or anything. And I remember I had this box that had, like, a bunch of SpongeBob characters in it, a bunch of, like... Um, cartoon network characters and stuff, and I remember those were some of the earliest ones, like, way back. But I really don't know what happened to them, and I don't think they were in here, so I'll have to go on some epic clay hunt maybe before the summer's over to try and find those, because I just like to have them, too, because, again, they were, like, the earliest models that I, like, ever remember sculpting. Uh, here's a, here's a dragon guy. Kind of like that fire. A really great technique was to, um, like, combine the colors together so you get, you know, New colors, pretty much. Um, so, there's a dragon guy. He probably came from the uh, clay book. I gotta get rid of all this dust. I think an insane amount of dust. Oh, I think I made this. Patrick from SpongeBob, missing an arm. I, I used to sculpt a lot of SpongeBob models. Uh, hmm, that's not... Um, as much as a, of a Toy Story fan as I was way back then, I actually don't remember sculpting a whole lot of, like, Toy Story models, which is kind of odd if, um, knowing myself, um, and, you know, things like that. But I found a Zerg. That's, 
not too bad, I guess. And this one I just found, I thought it was really cool, because it actually is video game related, um, but it's not Sonic or anything, and it's that guy Chuck D. Head from uh, Decap Attack on the Sega Genesis. Yeah, I have a Sega Genesis and a bunch of Sega Genesis games, so... Um, way back here, I must have liked the game enough to sculpt him from it. He's missing all his limbs, but... That's kind of cool that I found that. I didn't think I had sculpted anything that far, that long ago that wasn't Sonic-related. Oh my god, I found another one, another video game one, too. This is, like, a revelation time, because I never knew I had these. Uh, Sly Cooper from the Sly Cooper series. That's kind of cool, especially since today I don't even give PlayStation any, like, acknowledgement in, like, my daily life. Um, and here I am sculpting Sly Cooper, what is this, maybe, like, seven years ago? So, kind of cool. More to the point that there was a lot less diversity in gaming way back when. I mean, I played Nintendo, but I sculpted Sly Cooper, I sculpted Chuck D. Head here, and nowadays I don't even, like I said, I don't even give PlayStation a thought. So. Alright, I got two more from this one box that's in this bigger box, and then I have another box in this bigger box that I want to get into, which I think has some late, um, later, earlier ones. Uh, so I found the snail. Kind of cool. Actually, he's got a little smile going on there. So, that's a snail. And then, uh, I don't know if I'll start on my quality control speech right now, or if I'll wait a little bit later for that. I might wait a little bit later, uh, but we can start it now because I don't think I'm going to dig any further in this box. And here's a really messed up Pac-Man. <laughs> he's like brown and stuff, so... A lot of the times what I'd do back then is I would just sculpt for the sheer sake of sculpting, like, not really caring how it looked. And, um, a lot of the, these earlier clay models are really rushed. They're really just, like, again, that Pac-Man. Um, part of that fact probably was because I was using up clay. Obviously, this Pac-Man is, like, brown, so I probably had a bunch of brown left. Um, but sometimes, too, I'd just be sculpting a model. I'd just be, just, like, throw it together just to, like, throw it together. Kind of weird. Okay, I think those are all of the ones from, like, this little box thing, so let me shift around and then I'll, um, pull out some more. I actually just found one of the clay boxes that I didn't think I had up here, up here in this big box, so that probably means that I have less clay than I thought I did elsewhere. Um, still, I'm going to try and find the other clay that I know is not up here, because I really like to see some of those earlier models again. Uh, but anyway, moving on, uh, I found this Batman kind of big, actually. This would be, like, uh, my quote-unquote, like, jumbo scale back then. And he's missing a stand and some limbs and stuff. And I think this was kind of trying to act as a stand. Um, but that's that's one of the bigger bat men, Batman, I guess. I, I, I sculpted a decent amount of superheroes back then. I used to be really into superheroes. Um, but I don't think I sculpted a whole lot of them, actually. Uh, what else? Can I show off? I'm just trying to sift through here because I have like more Patricks and stuff like, like this, but I don't know. I don't really want to spend a whole lot of time on multiple models that I've already shown, unless they're like really good. Um, maybe I can go further in my quality control speech here and the, the whole random thing. Please explain to me what this is. I don't know. It looks like a dinosaur. Again, just all one color. Just kind of making a model to make a model. Uh, really weird. Put him next to that dragon. Uh, what else is in here? Again, emphasis on the fact this is a really chill video. Oh my god. Um, I think I'm gonna show this off, just for the sake of showing it off, even though it is video game, it is vintage. Um, but there are some really weird models, I think, that are gonna be in this video, so I don't mind showing this right now. Um, yeah, so, I found Link, <laughs> um, it's a Zora Tunic Link, and you're like, oh, well, that doesn't look too bad. Look at that eye, he's looking at you, this is like, I don't know what's wrong with him, but it's really weird, like, I found his head, I mean, like, like that, uh, he's missing, like, his feet and everything, so, uh, I'll put him in this picture, but it's really, really weird, he'll just be kind of weird like that. Um, is this who I think it is? Oh, no. 
All right, I guess that was it for this area of this box because there's not a whole lot more to show there. But now I have one more box that has some really, really um, good vintage ones. So let's start there. I found this Mr. Potato Head. He's missing an arm, but he's actually sculpted pretty good, actually. <laughs> I will say that. Put him down there. Uh, here's an octopus guy. Just an octopus. Probably came from one of my one of the um, how to sculpt books I was talking about. Because he's just like generic, looking like that. I think this is Gary from SpongeBob. That's probably what I bet. Uh, more emphasis on the fact that I used to sculpt SpongeBob characters. It's funny because I said that and I can't find even one SpongeBob. I think a lot of my earlier ones. The, like the, in the boxes that I can't find and stuff, um, had SpongeBob characters in them, and now I'm finding this Patrick apparently. I have no idea what this is. I'm hoping that it's missing some kind of limbs or something. I think it's a beaver. I'm not sure. I think there's some little arm slits right here, and his tail is kind of looking like a beaver's tail. If you can maybe see that a little bit. Oh uh, yeah. No idea what's what's going on with that. Um. More of those little Sonic games I, I showed in the vintage... Oh yeah, I said this wasn't going to be a video game. Well, whatever, I found it. There's only one button there, because the other ones must have broke off. Um, moving on to some more characters. I'm, uh, I'm going to finish with this guy. This isn't the end right now, I just found him, and I'm going to... Um, well, there's an Eminem guy. I feel like he had a stand or something. Um, and he's missing an arm. So... Kind of round, kind of cool. Here's a turtle guy. Kind of a nice turtle guy. Bright and yellow. From the one of the clay... How to sell clay books again. Um, again, just emphasizing the point that a lot of these ones are just really random in concept. And... Um, yeah, ba back then, it was honestly a whole, like, a whole different world of sculpting. And especially, you can guys probably tell from a lot of these models, it took me, just like uh, I think I mentioned in my vintage drawing video, I draw a picture in like 30 minutes, bam, it's done. I sculpt a clay model in 30 minutes, bam, it's done. And now it takes me really long. Here's a palm tree. Just a random palm tree. I actually remember the day I made this, I'm like, I'm going to make a palm tree for no reason. Ah, uh, there's a couple more I, I thought of that I wanted to show, but I don't know if I can find them in this box. I kind of don't want to take the box out just because I don't want to take it out, but... Oh. I don't think we can get away from video game characters in this episode, but here's a Sonic. It's actually kind of a nice Sonic compared to some of the other ones I showed in my vintage video game one. Alright, we're getting to the end now, and I went through this box and pulled out some that I wanted to show, because now is the time when we're getting to the really spam models, pieces that you could tell once went to something that is no longer intact, and stuff like that. So, I'll go in, I don't know, kind of a weird order here. First is an example of like a rushed model, Gumby. I mean, compare this one to, to that one. Uh, and you can tell that, again, the whole rushing just to make a model type thing going on. Uh, there's that. Um, repetition, another Patrick. What is a third Patrick? I don't know why I made... I never even liked Patrick. I don't even know why he's there. SpongeBob was my favorite character, and I don't know why I don't have more SpongeBob. Probably because he was really hard to make, and Patrick was a lot easier. Um, this thing, what is it? I don't know. Just... An example of these things that clearly went to something, but no longer. So you got some random wave going on there. Um, I just found this. I weird. It's I think it's Luigi's head, honestly, because you can tell a hat one here. But I don't know. Just kind of. I forget what I was gonna comment about this, but it's I don't know. It's weird, and the fact that I found it. Maybe I had some earlier Luigi's then. Oh, never mind. Okay, these last three are really good, or, you know, they're of quality, so I want to show them off. First off is Superman. I used to be a really big Superman as, fan as a kid, so 
This is a nice Superman. I actually have a Batman like this, too. Where's the body? I don't know where the body... It's just the body right now, because I must have broken off somewhere, so... There's Superman. Right here. I almost missed him when I was uh, shuffling through my boxes. Stimpy from Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> really broken, but... Uh, looking pretty cool. And then finally, I wanted to end this video with this guy. Epic clay model -ness right here. Epic. Zaboomafu. Right there. Missing his legs and his tail, but nonetheless, it's Zaboomafu. Put him right. Right. He he'll be, uh... He'll be on top of this water thing. Ah, uh, don't fall now. It's the end of the video. Alright, so now you guys have a taste of some of my non-video game vintage clay models what I used to sculpt a lot of the time before I sculpted video game uh, clay models so thanks for watching guys also um, just in terms of some of the other clay models I mentioned I if I can find more of those boxes I'll probably do a video an in-depth video like this but it'll probably be labeled like firsts or like or original like you know 20 models or like however many models I sculpted way long ago um, be on the lookout for that new series for my 100th video, and, um, yeah, so, this was a pretty nice change in terms of videos, it was just really, like, laid back, and I'm kind of glad, because those, those vintage drawing videos were honestly pretty hard to record, you'd think it's easy, but I'm like, oh, what am I going to say about this drawing that doesn't sound like the, like, I said it about the last drawing. So, nonetheless, thanks for watching, guys, as always, hope you like this glimpse of some of my earlier, earlier, earlier clay models. So thanks for watching, guys. Once again, that's like the third time I said that, but thanks, El Supersonic Hue. Until the next video, Ben. Now I just need to put all these guys away and completely dust off my little, my little uh, video board. It's so dusty.